Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are doing another follow along stretching sequence and this time it is for our hips. It's a 10 minute sequence that you don't necessarily have to do post-workout, you could do it as part of your session but I would probably recommend being a bit warm because we are able to display more range of motion when we are warm. I really hope you enjoy it and let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start today's sequence in a deep squat. You can keep your hands on the floor or kind of press your hands together, whatever feels comfortable to you. And we're just gonna move side to side for about 20 seconds. Let me set my watch. So just shifting side to side, doesn't matter if you're up here or down here or whether your legs are wide or close together, just want you to get into a position that's comfortable and kind of just take your hips to either side. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, place your hands on the floor and extend one leg. So we're kind of like at the bottom half of a Cossack squat. Again, it doesn't matter if you're up here or down here. Try and keep this foot flat if you can, but if it comes off, it's not the end of the world. We're just going to keep our hands on the floor and shift either side. We can do 10, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, perfect, come into this middle, wiggle the legs back together, back into that squat, 20 more seconds of shifting side to side. Whoop. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hands back on the floor, wiggle the legs out, extend one leg, and we're going back to 10 Cossacks. One, two, really try and extend this leg all the way. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, perfect. Just relax, sit down, bring the legs together, scoot the bum forwards, and we're actually gonna lay you down, okay? Once you lay down, take one leg, hold it and bring it as close to your um, body as you can. You might wanna bring the other leg up and just bend it so we can make sure that our back stays close to the floor, okay? Bring that leg in and we're gonna hold for 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, push against your hands for five, four, three, two, one, and now relax again. Keeping the knee to the chest rather than dropping it to the outside. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to bring your leg in as close as you can to your body. And then when it's there, we're gonna contract our hip flexors, we're gonna take our hands off, try and keep this leg as close to your body as you can, okay? So we're gonna actively hold it there using our hip flexor strength. Letting hands go in three, two, one, hold. 10, nine, eight, keep that back in. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Place hands back on and relax. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bring the leg across, bring this leg up and let's stretch our glutes. Hold, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
two, one. Okay, relax. And we're gonna bring our other leg up now. Okay, so back pressed into the floor, other leg up for support. Bringing that leg in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pushing against the hands. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Here we're going to use that hip flexor, okay? So hold the hand in, let the hand go in three, two, one, keep the leg there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands back on, legs, five, four, three, two, one. And just finish, bring it across. Pull it down, stretch that glute. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. Relax those legs. Come up into a seated position and we're going to put our legs in a 90-90. Okay? So you're going to face forwards, face over one leg. This leg in a 90 degree this leg in a 90 degree. Don't worry if this hips off the floor. What we're going to do, keep the hands in front if we can, and we're going to fold over this front leg. So we're going to fold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Lovely. Fold over to the other side. Ten on this side, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, back over to the other side. This time, no, we're just going to hold, okay? So hands in front, lower down to a place that feels comfortable. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice big breath out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good job, over to the other side, same again, just a 10 second hold, folding over that front leg, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bring those legs into a butterfly position, and we're just going to do 10, up and downs, okay? Try and keep those feet together if you can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now with your elbows or with your hands, push those knees down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Ten lifts. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And one more set of ten seconds. Really push those hips down. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's have the front, give them a shake. And into the last diet stretch we're going to do today, 
Come onto your knees and we're actually going to get into a froggy position, okay? We're going to do 10 rocks forwards and backwards. So take your weight back and forwards. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and okay, we're just going to relax. Last stretch, 20 seconds, wherever's comfortable. Keep your chest up if you want to, come down if you want to. Really relax into it if you can. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ease yourself out of that position gently. And there's our 10 minutes of hips. So I hope you enjoyed that follow a long stretching sequence. Obviously there is only so much we can get into 10 minutes so I will be doing more on hips if you do enjoy it and I can't wait to see you in the next video.